Hello, my name is Danielle Pinnock and I'm one of the sisters who works at the Chelsea and Westminster Intensive Care Unit. We are situated on the fifth floor of the hospital by Lift Bank B. To enter the unit, you have to buzz the intercom system and wait for a member of staff to answer. Then explain who you are and who you have come to see. It can take a couple of minutes for the door to be answered due to staff being busy, so please be patient. The doors are electronic, so therefore cannot be pushed open. This is to aid privacy and dignity of patients and their loved ones. When entering the unit, there is a corridor followed by another set of double doors, where everyone should use the alcohol gel to clean their hands. Once through these doors, you are on the main unit, which consists of 10 intensive care beds. If you are not approached before, then head to the nurse's station, where you will be shown to the appropriate bed space. If the nurses, physios or doctors are busy with your loved one, then you may be asked to wait. When entering your loved one's bed space, you will be asked to remove your coat and clean your hands again. Depending on the needs of the patient, you may be asked to put on an apron. The nurse at the bedside will explain this to you. At the bed space, there is a lot of equipment and monitors. This is the cardiac monitor, which gives the heart rate, blood pressure and oxygen saturations of the patient. The ventilator breathes for the patient whilst they are sedated and the other monitor allows us to access patient results, care plans and write our notes. On the other side is the arterial line which gives us a more accurate blood pressure and also allows us to take blood. There will be several infusion pumps to administer medications and fluids to the patient. Often patients will also have a nasogastric feed. Things you may see around the ward. The intensive care team, which consists of the doctors, nurse in charge, nurse at the bedside, pharmacist and microbiologists, do a ward round at 8 o'clock in the morning and then again in the evening. We discuss the patient's diagnosis and plan of care for the day and then speak to the relatives after the round. This is a photo board of all the staff who work on the unit, arranged by team. When patients are admitted, they are cared for by one of these teams. This wheel shows issues raised by patients and visitors and the steps we have taken to resolve them. The visitors waiting area is a quiet place to sit down. We also have limited overnight accommodation. Please speak to the nurse in charge. We have a booklet available with information for patients and their relatives when leaving intensive care. We hope this short video has given you an overview of the intensive care unit. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact us.